Good day, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Hello, my Shibola friends. Happy Tuesday. TGIT, thank God it's Tuesday. I hope everybody's busy as a bee, cheerful as a cricket, steady as a clock, and standing on the rock. That's right. By the way, this is our Thursday t-shirt. Uh, you get, you unlock the right to, to earn this t-shirt if you have an entire month of Shibola Perfect Thursday. It does not matter if that day is a perfect day, an intermittent fasting day, a wow day, as long as it's on the honor system. And by the way, this is today's Tuesday. Don't forget this one. Everybody be cheerful as a cricket. <laughs> Dude, I love our mantras around here. Busy as be cheerful as a cricket. This is our Tuesday shirt. So once you have a full month of perfect Tuesdays, then you earn the right to wear this t-shirt. So uh, take advantage of that. Help Shibola and it should be encouraging to you. It's kind of like having to buy your own trophy, <laughs> but at least you know you earned it. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Got to earn the right to wear those. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Angie. Good morning, everybody. All right, we're about to get started. Looking good, Sally. You're looking good. <clears throat> Hello, Charles Grant. All right, we've got a lot to cover. We're going to talk about activating your blowtorch today. Been a while since we talked about that blowtorch, so we're going to talk about that a little bit help some of the new folks understand the simplicity, but yet the power of their Shibola lifestyle. You've got the most practical, sustainable, fun, and powerful lifestyle uh, that's ever existed in your hands. And for that, we bless the name of the Lord. We've got three types of members. By the way, I'm Travis. I am the founder of Shibola. My wife is the owner and uh, we help people. We do our best to help people. Our Shibola family helps people. We've got three types of members here free community members, lifetime members and partners. We want to especially thank our lifetime members and partners for making a way for us to continue uh, doing what we do. Uh, we consider ourselves to, to offer unrivaled support and we could not do it without our great team members uh, for whom our lifetime members and partners make a way for us to keep on the team. So thank you so much. If you have not become a partner yet, or a lifetime member, we hope you'll pray about that and you'll join our little family and join our mission. If you don't, we're still going to love you, still going to help you, okay? Uh, we'll get to the questions that are popping up. This is our Q&A session uh, where we uh, answer questions, personalize your lifestyle, keep you moving forward, but it's best, these sessions are best enjoyed after having earned your fast track back. Uh, we, we really, uh, really want you to go through those fast track videos, take the test, pass the test, and earn your fast track bag. That will make these Monday through Friday 11 a.m. sessions much more meaningful to you. Uh, that way things that not come up that sound like foreign topics to you. Uh, and it can. It can. When you start talking about category one, two, three, and four and two, and uh, one, six, two, and it can blow somebody's mind when really it's real simple. It's just you've got to understand those underlying philosophies. And again, We'll get to all this in just a minute. Uh, your your way of paying me today is to listen to my couple of minute uh, advertisement, and then we'll get right to it. <clears throat> we need you to share. Y'all know where this is going. So let me show you how to share, and then we're going to pull up our wheel today, and we're going to spin the wheel, and we're going to declare another winner today. Let me get this website pulled up. So all we do to share and have our share counted uh, and of course, we earn our share badge and all kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to log in. There's my timing chart telling me when I should be eating. Uh, let's see. Maverick, sign in. And I go into my journal. Go in. Well, I guess I didn't have to go in my journal, but that's just habit for me. I always go into my journal. Journal, and it says daily share right here on the left side. And then we pick out a suggested share. Uh, today, I think I'll share Spark. And I don't know what to say about Spark, so I'm going to copy underneath the red. I'm going to copy all of that, copy. And then I'm going to click the Facebook button. And then a, another window pops up. And you can see that uh, I'm about to share Spark to my timeline. I want to make sure that it's, I'm sharing it publicly or the share does not count. So I share publicly in here. I paste, or I can say what I want to say about Spark or what I want to say about the photo that, uh, that I'm feeling in my heart. So you don't have to use our suggested text. That's just for those that want to share but don't really know what to, to say. 
So now I'm just going to post that, everything that I need is there, double check it, and I post it. And now it's going to show up on my timeline for other people to see. Uh, now I can go to, back to my journal, I'm going to go down here and see who shared yesterday. So I click all stars. I can see weight loss for today. For yesterday, we had, wow, yellow, yellow lost four pounds yesterday. Julie Marandino, four pounds. JNet, three pounds yesterday. Good stuff, y'all. Great job. Uh, attendance, so who's attending class, who's getting their steps. And uh, then I go down here to most share. And we had quite a few shares. Then Pat gets six entries into our drawing today. Six shares. My mom gets five shares. Wow. And then Charles Grant four shares in the in the in the uh, the drawing. So great job! And uh, we only had one referral yesterday. I hope people will start referring Shibola. So uh, it's the only way we can get the word out there. So please tell people about us. One referral yesterday. So uh, for our Shibola family members, our expenses run about fifty fifty five thousand dollars a month to keep everything going. And uh, one sign up yesterday is forty nine dollars. So <laughs> we need your help, okay? Please keep Shabola going or at least consider it. We, we thank you for that so much. All right, so let's, let me pull up now um, our wheel and let's give something away. We like to give back. So I go to the wheel, boom. And everybody that shared yesterday, their, their name or username is on the wheel. And here we go, y'all, good luck. Let's see who wins the t-shirt and then we'll get to Q&A today. Here we go go who won who won the t-shirt angela chai no one more deserving than angela angela's lost well more than 200 pounds i think it's like 250 pounds congratulations angela you are our winner and she's here great great job all right so uh, i'll ask my team members i'm not sure who's here with me i think Joni might be and tammy might be let's see Joni, would you uh, touch base with Angela and make sure that she gets her T-shirt, her free T-shirt? All right. I'm going to get to Q&A now. Enough of the advertisement. I do hope you'll pray for Shibola. As you can see, we're very transparent about our expenses to keep the ministry going. We hope that you'll take ownership of the ministry, too. We are really battling so many things right now. Please consider supporting Shibola, please. And if you can't afford to help us as a partner, all you got to do is share. You can share and people will see and they will check us out. So please do that. All right, I'll move on. I'm just going to keep having faith that things will turn. So let's go here and start answering questions. Lisa, I just found out that I have some significant food allergies. Doctor's office called me last night after looking at my blood and said for me to avoid corn. That's a good one to avoid anyway. Any corn product, avoid it completely. Um, I would never have known it was food allergies if I had not started eating better in June with Shibola. That good, good to know that. And yeah, grains, some people can tolerate grains. No one can eat grains uh, and overeat them and not get r rapidly put on body fat. That's impossible. So you having to eliminate corn may be a blessing in disguise uh, and any other grain. Now we can have grains on Shibola if we teach you how to nullify the adverse impact of those grains through special food combinations, uh, but grains never do us good. Just a side note. Thanks, Karen. Christy, uh, this may be better answered in a, another Facebook group, but I see from the detox foods that Lenny, Lenny's cookies are recommended over the Quest cookie. What is the main reason why? Uh, not necessarily. No cookie is really great for detox. We only added the Lenny's and Larry's because it's a vegan cookie. It's certified vegan, and we have many vegans in our program these days, and we were trying to accommodate them or I would not have put a cookie on the detox. <laughs> All right, any other questions? We wanna uh, talk a little bit about turning on your blowtorch. We, we want to activate, everybody say activate. So I wanna tell you a quick story while y'all are thinking of questions to ask me. When I started my journey, uh, there was a couple of things that I ate uh, and they were sandwiches. One was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and another was a grilled cheese. And it was so, it was such an eye opener to me that I had been destroying my blowtorch. I'd been literally putting water, extinguishing my blowtorch, keeping my blowtorch, my natural God given blowtorch, unactivated because I was eating white bread, whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead, and peanut butter, for example. So, with white bread and peanut butter, I'm destroying my metabolism. 
two slices of white bread is equivalent to about 30 teaspoons of sugar. Now there's no sugar in bread, but it translates in your body if you begin with the end in mind, like sugar, okay? So I would eat the white bread with peanut butter. Who knows what the, the primary macronutrient in peanut butter is? Does anybody know the primary macronutrient that's in peanut butter? Fat. So fat, if I'm in a calorie deficit and I consume fat, it's used as an energy source that dissipates its heat and goes away. Unless I dispatch a hormone called what, everybody? I got some experienced members here. Y'all can reverse engineer this one with me. That's right, insulin, the fat bus. And the fat bus is a fat storage hormone. So I was literally eating, I was eating the fat that was about to go on my booty and make me even more of a hunk of chunk. I was about to eat the fat that was going to go on my booty and I provided it the bus that was going to pick it up at the bus stop and take it there. Same thing with my grilled, I was a huge sandwich eater. So my grilled cheese was two slices of white bread with regular hump cheese. Most cheese is primarily which macronutrient, everybody? Fat. I was doing it again. Now, that sandwich was not high calorie. Neither sandwich was high calorie. It didn't matter because I was dispatching the fat bus and giving, I was providing the fat lipids that walked up in the bus, got in the bus, and then it put it on my booty. Now, everybody say, activate my blowtorch and say, burn, baby, burn. Yeah, the rest of the people on this planet, they don't know these things. They don't know these little pivots. It's just tiny pivots that we're making that changes everything. Now, watch this. So the more I learned, the more I studied, I said, you know, I'm not going to eat anything if I don't know how it breaks down in my body. So I thought, you know, my peanut butter is not going to be good without bread. My cheese isn't going to be good without the bread. <clears throat> so what did I do? I went and I found, made, created formulas. And then I thought, here's how much protein and fiber I would need to neutralize the insulin. But I bet there's no breads out there like that. And I did find one bread back in the day. It was double fiber wheat bread. Now we have more than 60, well, more than 60 approved bread. So I tasted the bread. It tastes like bread. But if I begin with the end in mind, it was more like my body was breaking down a green bean than breaking down sugar. So the new breads that I was eating, they taste the same, but they weren't causing that fat bus to be dispatched. So now I'm operating a calorie deficit. I have my, my bread and my natural peanut butter. I consume the peanut butter. The protein and fiber slows down any fat bus that's in the bread and the peanut butter. And then those fat lipids in the peanut butter, because I didn't overeat it, they begin to dissipate. It's heating, go away. It's like taking a blowtorch to butter. Everybody say, burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. You got to get excited about this stuff. Activate my blowtorch now. Actually, how long does it take, y'all? How many days does it take to fully activate your blowtorch? Two days. That's it. And then it's fully activated. Then you can just lock it down and rip, 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 rip off the fat burning knob because you've activated that blowtorch. What did I do with my cheese, grilled cheese? Well, I went and found cheese that was mostly protein and almost no fat. And then I would use about three slices of that, almost no calories, because now instead of using high calorie cheese, I'm using low calorie cheese. And then I would fry up my grilled cheese in MCT oil, making my fat-free cheese taste like full fat cheese. Lord have mercy. And that's what I did with every single food. Don't overcomplicate this thing. All of the foods that you used to eat, you can still have. It's just you're changing up your strategies. You're changing up how you manage your day-to-day -day life. You're making some pivot. But we freak out and we're like, it's so hard. It's not hard. Tell our team what you used to eat and we'll fix it. Travis, I like Fruit Loops. Great, we found a replacement for that that will activate your blowtorch. It's called Magic Spoon Cereal or Health Wise Cereal, High Protein Cereal. Those are great cereals. Magic Spoon has one that tastes just like a Fruit Loop. And there's others. There's others on Amazon that taste like a Fruit Loop. There's ones that taste like Count Chocula that activate your blowtorch. There's nothing, literally nothing that you can't have on Shibola if you're willing to make some pivot and just purchase slightly different ingredients. And then you get to eat all of your favorite food. And instead of an extinguisher, yeah, that's it, that's it, an exting a fire extinguisher, instead of walking around with a fire extinguisher every day, 
putting out your metabolism, you're tasting the same great taste, but you've activated your blood, all right? So I want y'all to think about the simplicity and get your mind around that. Quit letting the devil tell you that this is so hard and this is so confusing. It is not. But Travis, how do I learn this stuff? You watch the fast track videos like everybody else here who's been successful. And you take test, pass, test on your fast track badge. And then you go over to Shibola journey and we keep rocking and rolling and burn, baby, burn. So don't give up. Travis, I don't do good with videos. Get a one-on-one. -on -one. Tell sweet Joni, say, Joni, I like hot dogs. And she'll say, here's how you have an approved hot. Joni, I, I like to cook. Well, here's some great recipes like unstuffed cabbage rolls and to, to die for roast and Travis's spaghetti. It goes on and on and on. I like cookies. We got that too. I like ice cream. We got that too. I like Oreos. We got a replacement for that too that activate your blow. Get excited. Get excited. All right. Any questions? Let's look and see if there's any that's come up. My weight loss isn't showing up when you go into the challenge and look at each individual's listed results. I only weigh once a week. Will this carry over from my journal entry or do I have to click set weight each time to weigh in? Not sure I'm really understanding. So Bethany, let me get uh, Joni to reach out to you and help you with that question. Um, if you're weighing once a week, then you know it's going gonna, it's gonna to measure between your last weigh in and your most current weigh in. But I'll let her kind of digest what you're saying. Bethany Gray, Joni, and uh, see if we can't get you some help. Nothing wrong, Jennifer, with uh, Lenny and Larry cookies. Uh, I was simply saying, you know, for the detox, I wouldn't have put cookies on there. Uh, but we needed a vegan option, so I chose that one. It's not hurting you. It's, it's fine to do. I just like for a detox to be really, really a lot of pre-digested stuff and one whole food meal a day. Um, but uh, no, no big deal. You're doing fine. They're on the challenge for you to enjoy. Rebecca, PB&J is on days 11 through 24, so no problem there. Hello, Sheila. Aaliyah, I noticed that Walmart does not carry the fat-free shredded cheese anymore. Any info on that? People are having a hard time finding it, so what we did at home was switch to reduced fat Sargento. Uh, now, on a line day or a shark day, I can have full fat cheese if I know how to have those two types of days. But uh, what I have done for a regular Shibboleth day I have switched to Sargento reduced fat. I can use that as a condiment or category four. So if I'm having a grilled cheese, a couple of slices instead of three or four of the fat free, two slices of reduced fat Sargento uh, on your approved bread or in your approved wrap with some MCT oil is even more delicious. So you'll be fine doing that. You just can't have category threes or fives with it. When I eat a grilled cheese, I don't have anything with it. It's very satisfying to me because uh, of all the protein and fiber and fat. So I, it's just a well-balanced little meal. Can I do an approved smoothie or shake for a meal on the detox? Yeah, that's already that's already a part of the detox. So yeah, it's on the list. Approved shakes are fine. If you're going to go the smoothie route, just make sure it is an approved smoothie and it's not a zero on the weight loss meter. You want something that's a negative on the weight loss meter for the detox, for a smoothie. If your weight is set to private, it does not show it on the charts. Thanks for pointing that out, Shona. I had forgotten that. So if somebody's got, if you're looking for your name in the, the all-star chart, but you've got it set to private, you won't show up. Thanks for pointing that out. Did we get the days 11? Uh, Sasha's working on it. Uh, it, it should be done and if it isn't already done, it should show up there in less than an hour, probably, unless she has some distraction. And then we'll go over it in a session before day 11 so that everybody understands how to use it. What about cream cheese? Fat-free is getting hard to find. Then we switch to reduced fat, uh, reduced fat cream cheese or full fat cream cheese. Full fat cream cheese is category four. Reduced fat is category four, too. So we'll do it just like we would do uh, the replacement for the fat-free cheese. The difference here is you, there is really no difference. You can use it as a condiment and you can use it as a category four, which only means you can't have a category three or five with that. And most people wouldn't need, necessarily need to do that. The only reason we even put fat-free cheese on the program is so you can have a category one, like a grilled cheese with a category one and then a bag of chips or something with it. But that's not even ideal. It's always ideal to eat less not more. So um, we'll, we'll just make that switch fat free. Uh, we Since we can't find it, no one's finding it. Reduced fat and full fat is a category four or a condom. Um, I found energy car, black bean and edamame and mug, monk bean. That's approved. Uh, Frank is approved. Hot sauce is approved. Uh, that would be, um, I don't, I don't know the mung bean. I don't know about the black bean and edamame 
without going and looking, Brother Charles. I just don't know from memory. We'd have to take a look at your nutritional profile. Mung bean is a category one plus two. So we've said that in the evening, uh, or really now, we've skipped that. Anytime during the day, you can have one meal that's a one plus two or a four plus two or a seven plus two. So your mung beans are one plus two. Your Hebrew National Frank or your, your approved Frank is a category one if you get the right kind. You know, there's category four Franks, there's category one Franks. It would be best to have a category one lean. That just means lean for you new folks. It's not a very fatty Frank or weenie. It's a, uh, it's, it's a lean Frank. Uh, so yeah, Charles, mung bean pasta with one of those Franks, not two of those Franks. I noticed you said Franks. But if we're going to have the mung bean and a frank, we don't need two franks and mung bean. We need mung bean and we need one frank. And in your red hot sauce as a freebie, you'd be fine doing that. That is already on the challenge. Yeah, yeah, I'd still have to look at it. Uh, Brother Charles, you said edamame, and that's usually not a category one plus two. Uh, if you want to flash it up here, we'll go directly to your specific product and look at it uh, to make sure that we keep you safe here. But what I would suggest is that you go with the mung bean until we can look at your other product. And then you would want a serving of mung bean and one franc with the hot sauce. And that would be already on the channel. Good question. Anybody else? And pop it up here, Charles, if you want me to go look at it for everybody. What is the difference between the different phases? We're getting rid of that terminology for uh, 2023. Now the new terminology is Fast Track, Shibboleth Journey, and Tiger's Eye. So fast track is where everybody begins and some people end. In other words, that's all they need. They lose the weight. They don't want to take a deeper dive. Uh, and then you have the Shibola journey, which means, okay, I, you know, I've, I've, I'm losing weight. Now I really want to embark on the full wellness journey where we take a deeper dive. And then your tiger's eye ends up being more for those people, not that, ju that just wants a, a a deeper dive, but they want to eat more clean foods, less processed foods, and uh, they want to um, meet more for the demand, uh, eat more like they would if they were an athlete, uh, per se. So those are the three new phases. Hope that explains. Fast track, Shibboleth journey, Tiger's Eye. Got three phases, three types of members. Shibboleth fast track, Shibboleth journey, Tiger's Eye. And then we've got free community members, lifetime members, and partners. I like the number three. Any other questions? I like it. Nicole says on Facebook, our good friend, uh, like the Tony Dungy book, by the way, Nicole, we're taking the air out of the tires on the fat bus. I love it. Amen. And Nicole is having her lunch. I'm eating French toast and egg whites right now and burning fat. Yup, you sure are. You have activated the blowtorch. Activate, activate. Is there a video that teaches about fats and carbohydrates and sugars and how they affect insulin? Um, tons of them. <laughs> yeah, take your pick. Um, there's so many in there. I talk about it almost every class. So uh, let me just teach you right now. So you have simple carbohydrate, you have complex carbohydrate. Let's take a look at simple carbohydrate. Simple carbohydrate would be white bread, white rice, white pasta. Everybody repeat after me. <clears throat> These are not foods. They're evil. They're not food at all. All the good has been stripped from them. It's nothing but processed endosperm. Everybody say, yuck. And when you consume any of them or their kinfolk, you shoot your blood sugar through the roof. And literally, if it weren't for your beautiful internal pharmacy called a pancreas, you would go into a diabetic coma and die. That's no exaggeration. Every diabetic here knows. Now, our pancreas has a finite amount of insulin over your lifetime that it can produce. You're not supposed to eat like that every day, but we do. So the pancreas then secretes insulin, and insulin is a fat storage hormone. It sends your appetite spiraling out of control. And since it's a growth hormone, it stops your efficient fat burning for up to two days. It literally is like taking a fire extinguisher to your blowtorch. So your insulin is now regulating and bringing your blood sugar back down to normalize levels so you survive. But meanwhile, the insulin, the fat bus stays in your bloodstream and it begins to slowly decline, not as fast as the sugar levels did, slowly decline over the next two days until we get back to a normal. 
But what happens is we just keep eating like that, a little bit, a lot, a little bit, a lot, and we're keeping our insulin levels jacked up through the roof. When we consume evil, <laughs> when we consume those, there's no amount of protein or fiber that's going to neutralize that fat bump. It's called a holiday around here. There's nothing you can do to fix it. And if you're trying to lose weight and you go more than six holidays a month, we start calling them blow it days because now you're not trying. So, you know, we don't want you to feel yucky about taking six holidays in a month, eating what you want to six days. But we want you to feel terrible if you're not trying any harder than that and you're having eight, nine, and 10 days. We don't do that until we're in Maine. So you're, you're, you have no choice but to mark a holiday or that's what you're having when you eat white bread, white rice, white pasta and any of their kin folks colas, candy. Now, there are good carbohydrates. Sweet potato, peas, corn, tomatoes, lima beans. These are these are very good turnips. These are good carbohydrates. But if I'm already overweight as I was, then having those good carbohydrates by themselves is going to still cause my blood sugar to go up to a level where my pancreas has to secrete quite a bit of insulin, not as much as it would with the white bread, white rice, white pasta, but still a fair amount of insulin enough to stop my fat burning processes and to keep me hungry. But if I want those, if I want a sweet potato, a good carbohydrate, while I'm trying to lose weight, now when you get your weight off, you can start experimenting again with those foods by themselves. But if you're trying to get your life back in balance, you're trying to lose the weight, can't do that for a while if you want to be successful. So I want my sweet potato. So I've got a portion of sweet potato on my portion plate, about a quarter cup when I'm in the weight loss mode, about a half a cup when I'm in my, and then I put with that, I partner with that a lean protein and a fibrous carb. So let's just go with a standard easy one. So here I have grilled chicken cooked with or without MCT oil approved barbecue sauce, a quarter cup of green beans or a little, even a little more with it being green beans and a quarter cup of sweet potato. I've got enough category one and category two of that potato to neutralize the insulin so that I'm not left with so much insulin that it's going to take two days to get it out of my system. In fact, if I have a lean protein, a fibrous carb, and a category three complex carb, within about six hours, I'm back in fat burning. If I started the day in fat burning, after about six hours, I'm back in fat burning with that. Now, if you do what I suggest, and let me take this off, give you just a quick class here. This is fat. This represents a pound of fat. So it works this way. Somebody say, activate. So here you go, my, my metabolism, and I'm shifting. After two perfect days, I shift and I'm burning the booty. I've activated my blowtorch and the booty's melting off of me. Burn, baby, burn. And then I have a category one, two, three, like I just explained, your metabolism stops. You go back into neutral. Your body uses up the energy. I didn't get too much insulin because of the protein and fiber. And then about six hours, typically, you're, whoop, you're right back activate okay now if i go with a red column y'all missing all the goodies if i go with a red column was that hey y'all was that grilled cheese sandwich i talked about earlier was that what what color column was that red red yellow or blue the approved grilled cheese sandwich with negative number bread which column red everybody say burn baby burn everybody say activate all right so what activate Look, so I was in fat burn, and now I have an approved grilled cheese sandwich, fiber and protein and almost no starch. I get just a squirt of insulin, not much. And my body goes, there's no carbohydrate here. There's no fruit sugar here. I got to keep using my own internal fat stores. So instead of your, your body kicking out of gear for six hours, here's what it does. It goes, it's activated good now, baby. It's like taking a blowtorch to butter. I love it. Red column, yellow column for speed. I feel the need for speed. And then the blue column for lifestyle and enjoyment and a little bit of weight. I hope that helps. So there's your carbohydrate. Your category five fruit work the same way. Fruit sugar elevates blood sugar. Good for you if you don't puree it, you don't juice. That's another lie of the devil. Don't be juicing. If you're trying to lose weight, don't be juicing. That doesn't activate. But if I have a whole piece of fruit, uh, for example, I'll give you an example of that. So maybe I have a, an egg white and spinach omelet in the morning 
And then I want a, about a half an apple cut up. That's a one, two, and five. And that, all right. Hope that helps. I like to I like to explain why it works. I find people make better choices. Looking for more questions. Charlotte, let me know if that helped at all. Uh, sometimes when I teach, it's like drinking water from a fire hydrant. That's why Kim Danke's a much better teacher. So don't forget her, her fast track videos have plenty of, of stuff on. Jennifer, I want to double check myself. I can replace butternut squash with pumpkin, right? Yes, you may. Where can I get a mentor? Uh, no problem, Mary. Um, Joni or Tammy, will y'all give the mentor link? Mentor link needs to go to Mary Armajo. Mary Armajo. Mary, look in the thread. They should give you that mentor link shortly for you to schedule an appointment. Jettabug says, everybody get to maintenance so we can experiment. I was working with your shibby sister and coming up with maintenance techniques. That's a good problem to have it. Charles is having me look at his pasta I I think no carbohydrate it says zero on everything charles so i'm con uh brother you we may have to have a sidebar on this because i'm lost i see a lot of zero let's put that in the we fixed it group brother if you don't mind unless it's already in the library did you check in the library to see if it was already there Sorry, not trying to give you a hard time, but I'm lost looking at all that. We might need to put that in the We Fixed It group or check the library. If it's in the library, look, go, Charles, go to the library and look there first and see if, because uh, that's what I would do, go to the library and see what category that is and let us all know. And then I'll know if it'll be okay for your detox. See what category that pasta is. I don't think it's a one and two. Any other questions? Should we only be weighing ourselves once a week? That is a a, a personal adult preference. Um, I prefer myself to weigh many times a day. If I eat, I weigh. I weigh in the morning. I weigh after each before and after each eating episode. If I have scale access, I weigh before bed. I'm fascinated with it. It doesn't depress me. My weight fluctuates, but I trend down if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I do not get frustrated or down and out because I know how, how food affects my body. I know if I've had a perfect day, even if the scales are up a little bit the next day, that it's just fluid retention and that I lost some fat. Uh, but me driving that point home to other adults, uh, as many of you know, is near impossible. Everybody say impossible. <laughs> it's just impossible. If you've been to these classes long enough, you know, you've heard me go over this and over this and over this. It's just impossible uh, to, to get that through to other adults because no matter how much I harp on it, those scales are going to dictate whether you're happy or not with your results. Am I telling the truth? Now, hopefully you've broke free from that bondage, but when you start, the scales even determine the, your mood for the day. And that is a shame. That is not an admonishment. We've all been there. But what a shame. Uh, the Holy Ghost should determine our mood for the day. But we let the scales determine our mood for the day. But yet we've given a program that's all about that weekly calendar, that weekly timing chart where you're your days are marked perfect or holiday. And if you're doing that, you don't need to be concerned with what the scales are saying. The scales are a liar. They lie every day. This Look, when the scales show that you lost five pounds in a day, they lie. When they show that you gained five pounds in a day, they lied. You gained weight, but you didn't gain or lose that much fat. That's not how fat comes off the body. That's fluid fluctuation that's normal. And before you started a diet, I hate calling this a diet, but before you started calling this a diet, you were having weight fluctuations daily. You just didn't pay them any attention because you weren't trying to lose weight. And now you're gauging the success of your efforts based upon a number on a scale. So if you're a person that really gets down and out about those scales, to the point of quitting or almost quitting daily, you should weigh once each week. The scales will tell a little more truth if you look at them once each week, but still don't tell the The only time that the scales have to put its hand in the air and tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help it God, is once a month. Now, if you weigh once a month, November 1st to December 1st, and you don't show any weight loss, I'm sorry, you're just not trying. It's not your thyroid. It's not your genetic. You just ain't trying. But on a, if we look at it daily, there's going to be fluctuations. That's why I trust. I invented that system for myself. 
based upon God's word. I wish that were cold or hot, but thou art lukewarm. Therefore, I spew thee from my mouth. I said, that's it. I'm going to do it right or I'm going to do it wrong. And I'm going to do the right thing more than the wrong thing. I'm no longer going to have a lifestyle of gluttony. I may indulge every once in a while, but that doesn't make me a glutton if most of my days are Shabbat of perfect day. So that's how I live my life. And I trust that chart. And uh, it's going to have to be an adult, whoever asks that, it's going to have to be an adult preference kind of thing. You know, what is your preference? Do you want to weigh daily and be fascinated with how foods in, in your body react? Even though you know you're losing fat, it showed a, a one pound water gain weight. And you know, oh, okay, the carbohydrates, when I consumed it, I consumed them in the right way. So I didn't get the big insulin spike but the carbohydrate latched on the water molecule. So I'm showing a temporary weight gain that will be gone in six to eight hours. See, to me, that's fascinating. I, I love that. Um, but you may not like that. I'm talking to everybody. You may prefer, hey, I just want to put my head down, go to work. I don't want to look at those scales. I know they lie, but they really get me down. I'm going to weigh in once a week or once every two weeks or once a month. Um, you've got to determine that for yourself. If, you, if you're my personality, daily is fun i like because i know i'm losing fat if i do the right thing it's just biology hope that helps uh no diane we won't kick you out of the challenge for any reason other than not journaling <laughs> the only way to tap out of the challenge would be uh, uh excuse me the only way we would boot somebody out would be the system will automatically boot you out if you're not journaling uh everything else is on the honor system jettabug the mung bean is fine but i think charles we we know that one's a one plus two but i think charles had another pasta unless i'm mistaken i know explore cuisines made some changes lately so maybe i'm mistaken but I think he was asking about another one, too. And I'm not sure if it, because it has edamame in it, he said, which I guess is kind of mung bean. But anyway, uh, it's probably just me. I noticed the other night Explore Cuisine changed some things, which did not make me happy. So they may have changed some things. Andrea, when I eat pinto beans or other dried beans, I always gain a little. That's the carbohydrate uh, the, attaching to the water molecules. By That doesn't bother me because I know it's not fat. Is it because they cause my body to retain fluid? It happens when I eat canned beans. No, it's the carbohydrate. So any carbohydrate, uh, latches on to water molecules and pulls them into the muscular cell. So we have to view this like you have a barrel of, um, you have a barrel here of sugar. You have a barrel here of water. So your body is like a sponge. You have a sponge, okay? Sponge is very light, right? It's my best version of a sponge. A sponge is very light. Doesn't weigh very much, does it? A household sponge? But if I stick it in the water and then I pull that sponge out, that sponge is now heavy, right? And then if I take that sponge full of water and I stick it in the sugar barrel and pull it out, now all this sugar has attached to the water. It's sticks like sticky, right? The water and sugar stick and they now they're in the sponge, okay? So now the sponge weighs a lot. So when you eat any carbohydrate, temporarily that carbohydrate latches on to any fluid that you drink and pulls it into the cells. One, one gram of sugar latches on to two to three grams of water, all right? Think about that. So there, and by the way, there's more than eight pounds in a gallon of water. Water's extremely heavy. So now my sponge is heavy. What do I do? Well, I wring it out. I take my sponge and I wring it out and I get all the water out of it. And then I shake the sugar, all right? I just shake the sugar out. Now I've got a light sponge again. So what do I do if I've temporarily put on some water weight from carbohydrate? Go sweat. Just go sweat and evaporate the water. And, and if you move, you're evaporating the glucose because the glucose is used as an energy. It was stored in your muscle. You didn't overeat, so it's stored in your muscle, not your fat cells. So your muscles are using the glucose up. And as it uses the glucose up, it just rains pixie dust. You know, it just throws the sugar in the air. The water's evaporating. The sugar's flying everywhere. You're done. Heal. Activate. That's all there is to it. That's why I tell people who get fixated with the scales, if it's really bothering you, that little water weight that's going to go up and down every day, go sweat. Go get you 10,000 steps. Sweat it out. And you'll evaporate it and be, boom, you'll be right back to normal. Isn't that awesome? Knowing. Knowledge is power. It keeps you from quitting. That's why I tell people, come to class, because these kind of things that are hangups for you, they were hangups for me once upon a time, but I went and I invested myself and got knowledge. And I'm like, oh, that's all it is. All these times I've quit 
things were going great and I quit my diet. I quit trying to lose weight because I thought it ain't working. It's my bad genetics. It's my big bone genetics and all of my issues that I have. Mm -hmm. Decided, nope. I just need a little knowledge, a little understanding. Shona, I way Charles posted that. Let me look at his. That is a one and two, brother. So it is fine. That one's fine. They, they've relabeled it, so I was confused. I weigh multiple times a day, but only care about my weight on the 15th each month because that is my monthly anniversary date. I love that. Good. That's a good idea. That's, that's when the scales tell the truth, once a month. How to have a handful of grapes as a snack when you're in maintenance. <laughs> yeah, Darren. Uh, grapes by themselves is going to put the brakes on your fat burning prowess. It's going to put the brakes on the blowtorch if you eat them by themselves. Now, if you're really craving some grapes, what you could do is have some grilled chicken and a side salad with approved dressing. That would be a one plus two. Then you could have your grapes. Just don't wait. Don't wait for 30 minutes after that meal. Those grapes need to be inside of your digestive system at the same time, the protein and the fiber. So grilled chicken, uh, green beans, a cluster of grape. Um, broiled fish, side salad, cluster of grapes. Uh, not as good, but a grilled cheese, a cluster of grapes. Not as good because that's bread. And even though it's approved bread, bread and grapes usually isn't ideal. Um, but any of your whole food, your, your meats, some London broil, make you a, um, a London broil, saute that in MCT oil, put it over some leafy greens with some approved dressing, some cucumbers, eat you a delicious London broil salad, and then have you a cluster of grapes. One plus two plus five. Now, if you're like Jettabug and you're in maintenance, you fought hard, you got it done, everybody quit self-sabotaging. You get it done. Now you're wanting the grapes as a snack by themselves. No issue. Have a cluster of grapes for a snack. But if you do that when you're trying to lose weight, uh, you're pulling out the fire extinguisher. You, you're turning your blowtorch off and you're taking your fire extinguisher out. Tressa, I journal on paper. I got tapped out. Any way to get back in? Certainly. Uh, Joni, could you help Tressa Buell? Tressa Buell. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Tressa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie. You absolutely cracked me up and I love it. Plus now I'll never get the mental image of you throwing sugary pixie dust while sweating to the oldies out of my head. And that will keep that lesson stuck forever. It's so true too. <laughs> Thanks, Joni. Any other questions? Questions, comments, all hearts and minds clear. I've been out for a long while. Can I do plexus and stay on the plan? Uh, Faith, um, many plexus products are approved and I'm not sure because I'm not a plexus guy, um, but there may be some that are not approved. I know that there are some that are approved. So I would recommend um, a shout out to one of our team members about your specific product to make sure that it's not going to set you back or you need to go through and peruse our library. Uh, there are Plexus products in our library. Um, let us know how we can help there. Uh, Joni, if you, you, we just need to know the specific. Uh, Plexus has a broad array of products, and we can't say all of them are approved for weight loss, but I know quite a few are. When are we getting the next food list? It should be published any minute if it has. Go to the same place that you found the detox, and you'll see new tabs. If not now, uh, any minute is coming. Yeah. I went to GI for my follow up appointment after surgery. I told her I kind of felt constipated, even though I'm doing AdvoCare cleanse. And she said, that's normal and okay. Just take Miralax. Um, anytime y'all tell me a doctor spoke, I shut up. So uh, you're the great physician, trumps every doctor, and your doctor trumps me. So just do what your doctor tells you. Thanks for sharing. Awesome. Michelle says, Doctor says Advocare is great. Changes in diet are okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime we change our diet up, uh, especially if we're feeling a little constipated, usually it's because we're doing the right things and we're eating insoluble fiber and it takes time for it to work itself through, but it carries with it a lot of toxicity on its way out. But, you know, it's, it's not a laxative effect and it should not be. It's a, so it's a very safe, effective cleanse, and it's doing its doing its work. Uh, it, it never meant that you would be. The cleanse was not about pooping every day. It was about that insoluble fiber doing its job, along with the herbal tablets. Awesome. Anytime we switch things up 
on our digestive system, there's a, you know, it's temporary. It's like taking a, one step back to go many steps forward. Yes, bio coffee is meant to help with regularity. Half, uh, half a, one serving is a half a snack. Plexus Slim Fate, I already know that that one's approved if you want to do that one. It's a freebie on the program, Plexus Slim. You're welcome, Diane. I'm glad I could make somebody laugh. Thank you. Thank you, Marcella. Any other questions before we go today? We will be cooking tonight, Lord willing. I don't know what Sasha's going to – don't ask Charles. I don't, I don't know. Charles is like – he texts me and he's like, "What? what is she cooking? <laughs> I never know till she gets started. So it's whatever she can round up last minute after her work day. But uh, we will – do our best to go live tonight. Uh, and as soon as I can start going over days 11 through 24, I'll text all of the challengers and, and let them know that I'm live and we'll go through that food list. All right, everybody. Y'all have a great one. It was good to see you today. Remember, pray for Shibola. Share Shibola with somebody. Please share. We'll be doing our wheel tomorrow again. And uh, thank you, Angela, for sharing. You're our winner today. God bless y'all and we'll see you next time.